Do you know what FAR is and how to use it to calculate allowable building square footage? In this video, you'll learn just that. Okay, so FAR stands for Floor Area Ratio. The FAR can change based on the location of the site and the city that it's in. If you didn't know the FAR for a job, the building department for the town the site is located in could give you the information for that particular site. So the FAR tells us the amount of building square footage that's allowed to be built on the site based on the total area of the site. So the allowable square footage is equal to the total site square footage times FAR. Let's learn through an easy example. Let's say the site is 5,000 square feet and you find out that the FAR is 1. That means that the owner is allowed to build a structure that's up to 5,000 square feet. Because 5,000 times 1 is 5,000. That could be a one-story building that's 5,000 square feet, or a two-story building that's 2,500 square feet per floor, or a four-story building that's 1,250 square feet per floor. Of course, keep in mind that this is just an example. A real building site would most likely also be under building height and setback constraints, which will dictate how many stories the building can be and how far away from the property lines it will have to be. Now let's say the site is 5,000 square feet and the FAR is 3. That means the owner is allowed to build a structure that's up to 15,000 square feet, because 5,000 times 3 is equal to 15,000. That could be a three-story structure that's 5,000 square feet per floor, or a five-story structure that's 3,000 square feet per floor, or a 10-story structure that's 1,500 square feet per floor. You might be thinking, what if the FAR is less than one? Okay, so let's say our site is 5,000 square feet and the FAR is 0.6. That means the owner's allowed to build a structure that's 3,000 square feet because 5,000 times 0.6 is 3,000. That could be a one-story structure that's 3,000 square feet, or a two-story structure that's 1,500 square feet per floor, or a three-story structure that's 1,000 square feet per floor. You get the idea, right? You figure out what the area of your site is and multiply it by the FAR number to get what your allowable building square footage is. You might see problems like this, where you're given the overall site dimensions and the setback dimensions, but the question is regarding FAR. Don't get confused. Ignore these setback dimensions when calculating with FAR. The allowable building area is based on the whole site area, not the area within the setback dimensions. You can head to our website to get a free cheat sheet on everything we just discussed here. You'll find the link in the description below. And now that you know how to use FAR, you can head over to our practice question series to test your skills, or try our full-length practice exams to help you get test day ready. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss new videos, and comment below if you have requests for future videos. See you next time! If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And check out our website, linked in the description below. You'll find full-length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.